Hey, good morning, Oro Naz. I'm excited to be sharing with you a little bit today and what God has been stirring in my heart uh, as we approach this uh, Saturday's uh, evening of prayer and worship, our acoustic worship night. I want to share just a little bit about what God has been uh, stirring in Rebecca's and my hearts um, and a little bit what he is encouraging me with this morning as we're uh, looking forward to that uh, time of prayer and worship together on Saturday evening. Uh, throughout uh, scripture, specifically uh, throughout the Gospels, uh, we see Jesus often uh, retreating. Um, and there's a couple passages that I want to share uh, with you today. Uh, one is from Luke 5, uh, verse 16, where it says, uh, actually starting in fifth. Uh, verse 15 it says but now more than ever the word about Jesus spread abroad many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases and then in verse 16 but he would withdraw to deserted places and pray and one other one that I want to look at specifically is in Matthew 14 and uh, this is a similar account in the other gospels after uh, Jesus feeds uh, several thousand people, um, but in Matthew 14, uh, verses 22 to 23, it says, Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. And just an interesting note, um, I was looking at that story in the gospel account of John, and he mentions uh, uh, leaving the crowds before they forced him uh, to be king because he was growing in popularity and showing his miraculous signs and wonders, healings. And uh, what I want to encourage you with today, uh, as I've been reminded and convicted and encouraged with, uh, is just the importance and the necessity uh, to to retreat, <laughs> to go to whether it's a deserted place, to withdraw, uh, whatever that means, whatever that looks like for you. Uh, that's what we're going to be really pressing into on Saturday at our time of prayer and worship. Uh, I encourage you today that it's important and necessary for us, right, to withdraw, to retreat, to find those places and uh, that space, that sacred space, uh, to really be with the Lord, to go to him in prayer, to listen to his voice, uh, to hear how he's speaking and how he's moving. Um, and also to invite you Saturday as we do this together corporately, Saturday night at 6 p.m. right in the sanctuary. Uh, if you've been to one of our other nights of prayer and worship, It'll be very similar. Rebecca and I will be leading uh, the time of a, a simple, uh, somewhat intimate uh, time of prayer and worship where we'll sing lots of songs and hymns and spiritual songs and woven throughout the time, uh, we'll have some space uh, for prayer and uh, ministry to just encourage each other in the word and in prayer as we gather together. And the prayer that I've shared with uh, with you all before that is in the form of a song is how are you speaking and we'll sort of use that to enter in and frame our time um, on Saturday night but I want to share it with you here too so just hear these words this prayer that we'll sing together on Saturday uh, how are you speaking so the words are this how are you speaking what are you saying? How are you moving? What are you doing? And then it goes on. Uh, and the next stanza, come and speak to us. Come and move in us. Come and speak your truth. Come have your way. And the final stanza, your kingdom come, your will be done here in this place as it is in heaven. And so that's my prayer uh, for you and for us as a community, as a congregation, that as we uh, learn and grow together in Christ uh, and as we gather together 
and as we withdraw and as we retreat uh, on our own uh, and as we come together, we would hear his voice and we would respond and, um, and we would just continue to, to seek him uh, together to be faithful uh, in how he's calling us and how he is leading us. So, so I hope that you are able to find some space to withdraw uh, today and this week. Uh, and I also hope uh, that you would consider joining us Saturday uh, at six o'clock in the sanctuary as we gather together uh, for a time uh, of corporate uh, prayer and worship. So I hope you have a wonderful day and a great rest of your week. Bless you.